Now, and the uh, one quick thing that sparked. Uh, so, do you think the the sort of the adoption, the the the, the, su- the success of the adoption you had with LDAP, and then later on Open LDAP, mm-hmm. was it a function of like Linux? actually like um, sort of being being run in parallel at the same time. Let me mm-hmm. let me rephrase this. The way I always saw it um, when I'm sort of doing my history fact checking, you know, X500, mainframe, actual physical things, um, you had this commoditized way to just get, you know, you had hardware, but you could throw, you know, Linux on this. Mm-hmm. Was that as much of a conduit to the success of, of LDAP as anything else? What do you think? Uh, I think LDAP... Uh, you know, really start. I mean, the the beginning. I think it accelerated LDAP, um, but LDAP really started to take off before Linux. You know, became a thing. I think yeah. Linux really started to get people's attention in, you know, ninety eight, that's right, and beyond. Um, you know, whereas LDAP was pretty firmly established at that at that point. Mm-hmm. Um, at least with uh, you know with Netscape, with Microsoft, with IBM. Novell, everyone had kind of jumped on the bandwagon at that point. I think, um, you know, the adoption of of Linux, which, you know, and then a lot of stuff came after that, you know, AWS and containers and everything, but uh, LDAP was kind of on its way by then. Yeah. Okay, good. I just want to make sure I get my history correct. Open LDAP. Mm -hmm. So just some comments on that. Uh, Obviously, you guys did you know, the sort of, the, the, the communal thing, which is to take LDAP and provide it to the world. Well, contrast that with what the open LDAP organization was doing with this technology. Well, I think, and I don't know, you know, this was, open LDAP kind of got started at the time where I started to get out of LDAP. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I wasn't involved with the founding of open LDAP. Uh, you know, my understanding is that they, uh, they took the open source code that we had created at Michigan uh, made you know a bunch of changes and improvements, and really tried to sort of create more of a, a you know coordinated open software effort around um, LDAP and um, and the protocol itself, and and so on. So, uh, you know, from what I can see, they've been they've been successful in doing sure. that. I think it's uh, I think it's great. I think you know back in the day. Um, the open source LDAP effort was, you know, me and a couple guys at Michigan, <laughs> right? So it was not, yeah. <laughs> it was not a very big uh, coordinated effort. Yeah, now it's global. Yeah. You know, we're, um, you know, we trace the open source kind mm-hmm. of movement, all the requests for changes that still are very, very active. Yeah. Um, so good. Yeah, I just the reason why I brought it up was just to contrast. We even hear folks, you know, say the words LDAP, but there is a difference, open mm-hmm. LDAP and LDAP. And I just want, I'm glad to hear your your take on it.